Hey guys, this is Skitza. Welcome to another Wargroove multiplayer video. If you have any questions about the game or want to leave some feedback, I encourage you to leave a comment on the video. And as always, if you want to see more Wargroove content like this in the future, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free and it's a great way to support the channel. Alright, so we are Valder and... Hey, you know what? How do you guys pronounce his name? Valder? Valder? I don't know. I'm, I'm really bad at English, so if you guys have an opinion, please let me know. But I'm playing Valder, and he's playing Greenfinger, and this map just kind of looks a little a little awkward. Um, there's a big body of water, but no harbors. So we have a barracks on each side and a tower on each side, and this kind of empty spot in the middle. Hmm. All right, well, we're just going to move forward and get a Dread Sword for the cappings and send him straight up. Our opponent is pushing forward with his commander. They they have an extra village. Why do they have an extra village? I mean they they started with a with an extra unit, and they have an extra village. Can someone please explain to me the balance idea or the thought process behind that? All right, we're just gonna capture this, capture this, capture this. All right, so we have three three villages, and uh, I guess we'll just start with the with the spears. All right, cap in a village. And we're probably just going to try and immediately uncap that. Maybe that's why they have an extra village. Because I can get there to immediately contest that. But I don't know. It seems weird. Alright, so two spears for our opponent. Cap in the tower. Maybe going for some early air units. And a village. So we're one village ahead of them, which is good, good for us. All right, so I'm just gonna walk down here and slap this village, and my groove's up, yay. All right, we'll try and get the uh, spearmen through the forest line and cap our last couple buildings here. Hmm, I don't think Knight is very good with that tree line there. If he goes air quick, I could get war uh, mage, but I think I'll just go safe and get spear. It's fine. All right, gets in on my commander. He's only at 27% groove, so don't have to worry about that for a long time. Moving his spears up. I'm surprised he didn't capture that village. He, he should have moved that spear down and captured the village. He could have. Yep, I'm, I'm 200 ahead. I mean, that, that extra village on the left just makes it, if, if it's an even stalemate and I can't keep pressuring this lower left village here, um, they just kind of auto, auto get a gold advantage. So I just have to keep pressure on this, this bottom village here. There's so two spears, a mage, and two swords. Well, move this guy up. I think I want to move my... my Commander back and just use his groove oh and God. use him Rise. to capture the village. Just to be it as annoying as possible. Uh, maybe I'll put him down. Spear won't be able to won't be able to catch him. He'll have to use his commander if he wants to attack him. So we capped his village. Basically for free. I mean he did some damage to my commander, but mm. let's move these guys down. Uh I might just go for a trebuchet. Could get some early air. Vampire. Yeah, let's do that. He'll kind of be forced to get um, anti-air units. And I'll just... I need a line. So I'll go spearman. Alright, gets in on my commander. He's done some pretty good damage to my guy. But I have the ability to heal. I'm ahead on gold. He's at 47%. My, my groove's already up to 40% again. I mean, every time I use my groove, I essentially get another 100 gold worth of advantage with the uh, the foot soldier skeleton guys. 
So he didn't capture he didn't capture that village back. Um, he didn't take any damage uh, uncapping it either. So it's just kind of a back and forth, no real advantage there. I'm just keeping it out of his reach. So we're at least even on gold now. So you got that free village over on the left. Yeah, so both 700. Moving his guy forward. Okay, that's fine. And the witch. Okay, so he invested in anti-air via the witch. And he has a, a mage. Which, that's fine. Mm, I don't know if it's worth attacking or to just kind of move back. Well... Definitely want to heal him up. Got plenty of gold. I think maybe I just stick him here in the woods with some defense. Move my harpy down. Move him up, obviously. Now, how do I want to position my my spear line? Um, I'm not at any advantage on units right now, so it's really hard for me to uh, to kind of move forward. You get this trebuchet. I think the new plan is I'm going to move the trebuchet up and just harass that top village there. Mm, 335 gold. I guess that's it, right? Alright, I'm up every turn. Oh yeah, so while I'm thinking about it, since it's our opponent's turn, I just want to point out something. Um, Gotten a few few comments, people asking me about a war groove tournament, War of the Groove. I wasn't in that. Uh, you, I mean, you guys must be thinking of a different person, but I didn't. I didn't participate in that tournament. Um, so yeah, I I idle in there. Uh, they have a they have a Discord channel. When it first opened, I, I idle in there, but uh, yeah, I, I wasn't in that tournament. Didn't compete. So I don't. Not sure who you're confusing me with, but it wasn't me. I mean, first of all, I I just don't have the time to commit to something like that. I'm pretty sure those guys were playing for for hours on a day. But I mean, even then, even if I wanted to compete, I I highly doubt I would even compare to those guys because they're I mean, from what I understand, they're a bunch of like advanced wars veterans, which I've I've not played a single one of those games. So it, I it just would have been silly for me to to try and to try and compete in that tournament. So yeah, what well, wasn't me. All right, getting in on my soldier. Nice little crit for him. It's only a, like a 90 gold loss there for me, so that, that's not terrible. All right, inching forward. All right, so he's a he's above now because he recaptured that bottom bottom village. It's just kind of annoying. Like this is why I'm confused about that far left village. How they just they're just kind of handed it for free because they went second. And he gets an archer. All right, so five or nine. Hmm. Well, I can do a nice 42% hit there. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Got my groove up again. Got to get those uh, those 100 gold a pop advantages. All right, so 1%. One, this is, I mean, this is basically going to be a worthless attack, but... Hmm. I need to keep my trebuchet protected. So I guess... Alright, well, he can't reach here. I think that's the probably the best spot to put it for now. Down to 28%. 5-9. Um, yeah, I'll probably get flamed in the comments for doing that, but... I, I mean, I know he's just going to go back and, and heal his commander, so... Trying to spread the damage out a little bit. It's probably the most not the most efficient thing, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. All right, and what to do with this guy? That's one one percent one percent damage somewhere. I'm not really sure that it matters all that much. Mm, I can get my own mage just for some anti-air presence, or I can get my own witch. 
Yeah, let's do a mage. Kind of that dual purpose. Alright, 80% on his groove. Most certainly going to fall back with his commander, and then hopefully I can take that village back. I guess the 1% damage on the mage is worth more gold, so just do that. And end the turn. I guess in hindsight, that, that foot soldier at the bottom, I could have just left him there, and he would have had to waste turns to clear him to get his commander out of there. Um, I don't, I don't think it really matters all that much. All right, moved his commander, not in a place where we could heal. All right. It's kind of forming up a line here. Okay, he heals with the mage. It's up to about 50%. Well, he's not going to contest the top line, I guess. So I'm going to be able to put this trebuchet right in the position I want. And I mean, I'm just very worst. I'm going to be able to decap that village every round if he keeps recapping it. So I guess the idea is to pressure that, that top front village and the bottom front village. And hopefully gain a, a gold advantage over time. All right, so he's huddled up. Pretty hardcore huddled up here. And another archer. So he's he's investing heavily in some uh, anti-air. Those archers are pretty good against pikemen too. So I can put him in a good position to uh, defend the trebuchet. Oh, I could go ahead and get a nice hit on this guy. I think that's what I do. I mean, he'll be able to probably be able to kill him with that other one, but or with his foot soldier. But I'm I'm okay with that. I got my trebuchet in position. My Harpy's going to be a little useless right now until I deal with their Witch. Well, you know what? I'll just move him up. If he wants to come attack my Harpy, I mean, I have a Mage right next to him. So, let's do our Groove. Basically, want to use it every time it's up to get that 100 gold advantage. We'll decap this. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and cap it myself and get a couple crit hits in. So, one. Uh, this won't be a crit, but... Still a pretty decent trade, even with his crit enabled. I'm okay with that. Hmm, what to get? I guess another mage? Okay, get my own witch to try and, uh, try and pressure the airspace a little bit more. I mean, he has a lot of anti-air, but I mean, I can at least take over like the, the uh, body of water. Maybe threaten to uh, to harass the far villages. I'm I'm up again by a hundred. All right, so reinforcing his pikemen. All right, getting hits with the mages. All right, one pikeman down. Nice archer hit on my my pikemen. But that puts my my foot soldier in range of that um, that archer. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good hit. Unless he moves someone down the block. All right, move. Oh, okay, another pikeman down. I think I might have to retreat a little bit here, but I have that trebuchet in a nice position. And going for the village. I'm gonna keep it for another turn. Unless he moves his commander down in front of it. But I'm not sure that he's going to do that. Yep, huddling up. He sure likes the huddle. And another archer, three archers. Okay, well, my poor little harpy is literally going to be useless this entire game. Moved his, he moved his witch in a, a really far... So, well, I guess because I have the mages. All right. Well, annoyingly, my trebuchet is not going to be able to decap that village this turn. But... I can I can kill him, which is probably what I'll do. I can kill him. I can do some damage there. Yeah, it's I don't. It's just not worth moving my harpy up because he has so many archers and a mage. Guess we go ahead and do this. We can start the harass on that village, but yeah, that's a nice that's a nice hit right there. 
It's like over 250 gold for my 100, well, my free guy, my, my groove guy. Mm, I guess I just finish him off. Uh, 45, um... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I meant to <laughs> I meant to move him up a square, but I didn't click first. Like a dummy. Uh with him, I think we're just going to fall back and heal for the his remaining missing health. Slide him up in the tree. Um what do we get now? I guess another pikeman. I lost my whole front front line. It's going to need to replace it. So many archers. Still, I'm still ahead. Still ahead. Hmm, I need to spend this gold though. Well, I guess we could. I mean, if we keep getting all this leftover gold, we could invest in some giants. I don't know. All right, let's see what our opponent does. All right, finishing off that, that free little foot soldier I had down there. I mean, on paper, I I didn't really think Val, Valder's uh, groove was, was all that good, but just because it charges so fast and you can cause a lot of chaos, uh, chaos with, a, with a random free foot soldier, especially in the early game. So I'm definitely respecting his uh, his groove a bit more. All right, so he decapped that village. That's fine. At least he doesn't have it yet. I guess he could capture it. If he does capture it, then he's ahead again. But I'm pretty sure I've I, I'm been a few hundred gold ahead for a, a few turns. So I'm not too worried about it. Especially in the fact that I'm I'm he's basically not going to be able to keep that that top village there capped from my trebuchet all right so he capped it that's fine my my low commander is a little little lonely down here it's a little lonely and another mage man he is going hardcore anti-air well i'm most certainly not getting a dragon this game this, this map is pretty awkward in the one barracks, one tower, especially when you can just huddle all your guys up there and just get a couple archers, a couple mages. Alright, decap. And capture. I could just suicide this guy. No, it... It's not worth it. I mean, we'll just have to try and, and, and keep getting these small advantages, a uh, hundred gold at a time, I guess. Move him up here. Um, well, I just put him in range of my archer, but he'll have to move right next to my foot soldier. And I don't know that he can do any damage to that foot soldier. Hmm. My guy is way more expensive than his doing that damage, and I'll put him right in crit range of the archers. His groove is up. I don't want to give up this village though if he pushes forward. Hmm. Do we just go for giant? Just checking some range. All right, he should be safe here. Safe here. I gotta keep this trebuchet safe. I mean, he's outnumbering right now. Right now, that's pretty much my my big advantage there. All right, let's just go giant. Horribly gold inefficient, but yeah, he's a powerhouse, and I should be able to kill a few of his units before before the guy he, he you know he bites the dust. Um, three percent on an archer. Yeah. Let's do that. Right, 97. I guess we'll just end here. Uh, 
I'm guessing he's going all in. I imagine that his groove will come down here too. Um, maybe to try and block off my my golem, or maybe the trebuchet, because you could you could put it where it, you know can't use them effectively. Nature's cry. Right, here it is. All right, so blocking my commander off, but I have. Um, I have a bunch of units that can just kill the plants. Hmm. I'm not sure that I would have done it that way, but I guess we'll see how it works out. I mean, maybe if all of his guys were already in range of my of my commander, so I'm gonna have at least one turn to uh, to knock one of these plants down to to move back. Or cause, I mean, his whole goal could just be taking that village back, but again, that village is in range of my trebuchet as well. That trebuchet can reach both villages. All right, so I can knock that, that plant down and then I can have my golem and pikemen kill this other plant. And I can just move back behind the village. Oh, I could one shot. Oh, so tempting just to shoot his archer. Well, I guess I could, I could attack and attack. At least just to apply pressure. Oh, that's a nice hit too. Thirty-nine damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with this. That's nice. Hmm. I guess I. Oh man, I really want to kill his archer. Alright, let's just play it safe. Kill that. Hit the next plant. This guy should, yep, he can knock it down. I can just move my commander back here. So, he can't, he can't exactly hit my guy very easily. Like, he can get a crit. But I'm going to go ahead and knock him way down. I'm okay with that trade. And I might as well just go all in, right? Oh, that's uh, that's crit enabled. I mean, I could, I'll potentially lose both of these mages. Well, let's slide these guys up to max range. Yeah, might uh, might as well. Man, he has so many anti-air units. It's really hard to make to use these guys efficiently. I could just kill I could kill one of these guys but I mean I already knocked it down I might as well just move here and attack <clears throat> oh yeah that gave me more groove too so my groove's already up yeah that I that's a that, that was a better play I really don't want to trade this mage into the spearmen uh I guess I mean it's not it's not a very good trade but man I really wish I had two harpies and I could really harass and, and decap stuff up here so I don't I don't think a harpy can can decap a village a hundred percent village on his own you just slide here oh, I put him in range of the witch but I'll slide mine up oh I almost ran out of time there <laughs> Whew. All right, I feel pretty good about this. We'll we'll see. We'll see what my opponent does. I mean, if he doesn't even at least decap my village, I'm not sure if that if his last round was worth it at all. All right, soldier down. Mage down. Yep. I just didn't see any other way because I didn't want him to have two full health spearmen on the front there pressuring my uh yeah I don't know maybe that wasn't so good I mean I still have my giant here if two very slow pikemen that can get up there and he just put all oh okay decap the village good for him he put all his stuff in my uh range of my trebuchet all right so he capped it again 
All right, moved one guy back and did some reinforcing. Can't reinforce him, but he still moved him back. All right, so he, well, this is strange. He went all in, cat my village, and he's moving most of his guys back. I'm not sure. Not sure how much I would agree with that. All right, so he got in on my harpy, but I'm gonna kill his witch with my witch. Hmm. All right, did some damage to the village with his archer that I'm not too concerned about. All right, he got a ballista, which kind of makes me feel like I should get my own ballista to match that range. Uh, Cause ballista has one more range than trebuchet, so if he moves it up in position, I'm gonna have to move my trebuchet back, which is not not fun. So I think. Um, all right, yep, down by one. I wanna get my golem down in here to hit his CO, so I'm gonna kill this plant. You're kidding me, one freaking percent. God. Mmm. Well, that makes this extremely awkward. Like, extremely awkward. Um. Uh, Alright, well, I could just decap. Hmm. God, one percent. I mean, I don't want to waste in my my golem's turn. All right, well, I can kill this plant, do some damage with my uh, commander. I really want to use his groove, though. Man, that's awkward. All right, well, let's just go ahead and kill him. At least we have that, right? I still don't think it's worth even using my harpy, um, especially at 30%. This is like beyond awkward. I think I might have to wait a turn to use his groove. See, I can one-shot him. That's good. All right. At least I got to use my golem. I could just use my groove down here. Yeah. And then uh, get a crit on one of these Rise two. From your grave. Um. Right, so eighty-one or twenty. Hmm. God, I really just want to do this eighty-one to his mage. I'll probably get roasted again, but I I want all of his guys weak here, so he falls back. I mean, I'm sure that the hit would have been worth more gold on the uh, the commander, but and let's just get another mage and another vampire. I know he has a lot of anti-air, but if I can pair my two harpies up and like fly way up there, maybe I can harass one of the villages. I don't know. I'm just trying to be gold efficient. Well, not gold efficient, but uh oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, man. All right, so me starting on the right side but going first threw me off. I thought weather was gonna flip and my witch was gonna be safe from the ballista. Man, this is the most awkward, awkward of awkward maps. <laughs> uh, all right, he decapped my village, that's fine. I plan on taking this village down to the bottom back, and he shouldn't, theoretically shouldn't really be able to, uh, to cap the, his, his top village there. Alright, he's, he's falling back. Trying to, he's trying to reinforce anyone he can, but now, now his two villages down there are down to 10%. So if I can move quick, if he moves everyone back, I should probably try and decap those. All right, he's doing his huddle, he likes to do. All right, so he got his own trebuchet. All right. Well, 
decap that and cap it. That's ours. I'm pretty sure this is the right move. Or I could kill, I could just finish off his mage. Yeah. All right, maybe I should move this golem first. I could decap. Yeah. I mean, he wants to get hits on my golem, that, that's fine. I, I wanna, I wanna fight. Hmm. Let's move here and attack the plant. Let's get it gone. All right, this guy is stuck in the jungle or the, the forest, or I guess it's a jungle. I don't know. All right, this poor harpy. So many anti-air units. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my own ballista. I think I, man, it costs so much money. I want to get a balloon. I might have to wait a couple turns, but if I can get a balloon down here, I can move both my Melista and Trebuchet kind of wherever I want. Man, I can't believe I lost that stupid witch. Oh well. All right. Doing the reinforce dance. Man. He, he really wants to reinforce stuff. All right, so we moved his trebuchet up, taking more of a defensive stance. I mean, I, I would assume the correct the correct move would be to just attack my golem with everything you can, because every, every attack on a golem is, I mean, it's money earned, is the, the way I understand it, at least. I keep calling him Gollum. It's I should really call him a, a giant, but whatever. All right, so he is he is full on, full on turtle, turtle mode. Uh, falling back. I was I was not really expecting that. I mean that. He just gave me a free decap on that village and did not. I did not get punished at all for it. I was expecting him to go all in on that Gollum, or giant, whatever. And he gets another mage. He really does not like getting attacked by air stuff. Uh, that, this I learned. This I have learned about our opponent. All right, well, he's not moving that ballista up in range. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and start working it or moving it up. Not sure if I can do anything with this golem yet. I most certainly don't just want to walk into a trebu trebuchet range. I think I might just cap this village. Ooh, there's another kill. Man, these free these free soldiers. All right, that that was most certainly worth it. Um, all right, so commander. Only the commander, it looks like, would be in range if I go up and and uh, and cap that village. So I think I might want to go ahead and just move this trebuchet out of the way because that's where I want to put my ballista. Because if I get him there first, he's not going to be able to move his ballista up and, and kind of push my artillery out. So I guess we just inch these guys up. <laughs> this stupid harpy. All right, well, I'll have two full health harpies. Maybe I don't think he's going to move that ballista, so these guys are just going to sit out here for a while. Wagon's dumb. I could get my own archer. I guess that's fine to have one of. Yeah, I guess it's safe to come up here and, and cap this. All right, we're 200 up a turn if we stay like this. All right, so he's on the he's on the decap village plan. I know I know that plan well. I'm not sure what that was. I think he he pulled the uh, the infamous schizo move uh, of just attacking with the archer instead of selecting where you want to attack from. All right, ballista finishes off the free guy. All right, so I'm still up. All 
right, so he's inching forward. I guess getting ready to try and uh, try and counterattack my my commander here. And he's pretty much given up trying to trying to cap that top village there that I have uncapped. All right, so he's keeping my harpies at bay. Uh, I don't know. And he got his own harpy. Hmm. All right, gone. A, a giant can't hit anyone. Ballista in position. Trebuchet in position. Eh, trebuchet position's not that great, but... Alright, let's... Hmm. Screw's at 67. Has an archer there. I guess we just cap. I mean, he's still pretty safe. He's at 100%. Guess I could slide him forward here. Move my archer up. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I think I should get it now. I think now is a fine time and then can do more spearmen. So the idea is to make my trebuchet and ballista mobile so they're not stuck at that tree line. I maybe should have got him earlier, but I really was just focused on making sure he couldn't cap that that village and since I've had these bottom two for a while or at least for now feel okay spending the 500 gold on the balloon all right we'll just slide back one yeah that's fine all right so we're still 200 up Okay, he moved his harpy two spaces. Interesting. And he got his own balloon. Hmm. Not sure if he's reading my mind or has his own plans for that. Um, he, okay, he ended his turn without moving almost everyone. I don't know if he just got hit with a timer bug or if he did that on purpose. I mean, there's not really any reason to attack into that line, especially since I'm up. Uh, I'm up gold every round, so I guess I'm just gonna keep my guys in range of contesting that village and, I don't know, just get better position, move some guys up. I start moving my balloon down, and what else can we buy? Um, Mm, just another spear, I guess. All right, so we have our front line back. Four spears is definitely better than two spears and two footmen. Now let's move them just out of range and end the turn. All right, decapped my village. Moving the balloon forward, okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right, inching forward. We are technically even on gold. Of course, I have a giant and he does not. Gets another mage. He sure does like his mages. Hmm, is that the best play? Just load them both up? I mean, if I move my guys, they'll be able to cap that village, but I think it'll be worth it putting them in a better position because I can move them up with my army. All right, let's just load them up and, uh, and bring them down. If I can manage clicking. Alright, drop him, and 
Hmm. If I go ahead and drop both. Alright, trebuchet in front, I think. There. It's good enough for now. I mean, I can just keep loading them and unloading them if they have nothing to shoot at. So I could just move forward with everyone. I mean, I definitely want to use this groove. I can decap and then cap it myself. Kind of move everyone forward. I'll take some hits, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think I'm just going to do it from here, from keep my commander grave. safe. Alright, we'll cap that back. Um, I don't want to hit his uh, spearmen. I mean, maybe I just want to do whatever damage I can. We'll just let the spearmen take the hits and move everyone else up. So next turn we're going to have bad weather, so I can actually move my my artillery closer and then take advantage of the weather going away first. I have the gold, might as well get another another giant. I mean, no sense in getting a, a pikeman and not utilizing my gold. I mean, could spend money on more air units, but they're essentially useless with a large number of archers and mages he has. Hmm, moving backwards. So he's not contesting this village? I'm thoroughly confused at what he's doing right now. I mean, maybe he just plans on capping that other village and letting it be even again. Or maybe he's just hoping for uh, a good exchange after we start fighting. I mean, all his guys are in defense areas. And he'll probably get the first shot with the trebuchet. Well, he should definitely take that foot soldier up there and cap that village. At the very least. He gets in the balloon. Interesting choice. I mean, I'm okay with that because I'm 200 gold a turn above him right now. Spearman. Uh, okay. All right, now is our chance to move forward with the um with the the bad weather. Nice, nice, meaty hit right there. Puts, uh, puts a lot of things in range of my giant. 50 or finish him off. Well, the most important thing is just getting everyone, getting everyone forward right now. I mean, this will be the big, the big payoff right here is being able to put, put these guys so far up, and they'll be protected. Right, let's move him forward. Let's make sure we can get a good spot for these guys. This will go here, um, trebuchet, and then ballista. slide these guys up I don't want to load them just go just go there moving forward I mean you got to pick your target tons of stuff in range for you we'll slide these guys down maybe maybe at some point in this game they'll be useful I mean do I just keep going I, I spend my spending my gold right Three, three giants. Let's see. I mean, I've, I feel really good about my position in this game.
Hmm. Moving back again? I don't quite understand what the purpose is. Like, is it to get me to overextend and then you kill my army? I don't know. He just put something in the balloon. I didn't catch it. I mean, he just conceded so much ground. Like, I'm going to be able to capture his barracks, potentially, next round, next turn. Move the balloon forward. It's got a sword and a spear in it. Okay. I think maybe he's trying to send that army over to my stronghold. The balloon and the two harpies. Well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a witch next turn to, uh, to cut that off. Our ballista is still in range of a lot of my stuff. It's another archer. Mm, how do we want to do this? I mean, I can just straight up kill that ballista. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. 28, no. Well, we can we can definitely decap this village. Can get a crit on this guy. Is that the best use of the golem? Maybe I should have one shot the ballista. Mm, now I'm stuck attacking this. Yeah, that wasn't. That's not ideal. I should have done that the other way. Yeah, it. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just finish off the ballista here. Capture that. That wasn't the most efficient round, especially when I could have used my golem uh, to one-shot him. And then, I mean, I guess it's fine. I will right, we'll slide some stuff up. And I put my giant in his trebuchet range, but I have three of them, so I'm kind of okay with that. All right, here's our, oh, it's a wraith, not a witch. Well, I call them all witches. Uh, so I'll do a witch and a harpy here. My stronghold is now protected. Slide this guy up, since he doesn't have a trebuchet anymore. If he wants to try and shoot him with the, his archer, that's fine. I don't even think he can, but. So load these guys up, and I think we'll try and slide them. Hmm, didn't really think about this. Very good. Yeah, it's it's fine. All right, giant took it to the face. I am now up 400 gold a turn. This is not looking good for my opponent. Alright, so he is uh, running for the mountains, I guess. Maybe just trying to get out of trebuchet range or is afraid of the giant. Maybe to utilize all his archers and his trebuchet. I don't, I don't know what's happening right now. It moved his archer back out of giant range. Okay. So he has almost every single unit huddled up on the left side of the map. Alright, well, I guess we press on. I really want to decap this barracks. 77, is that good? Hmm. 30% giant. Ooh, I could just, I could just do this. Crit enabled, and then leapfrog. It is trebuchet. 
down real low, and then we can cap it back. All right, we have two barracks now. I don't really know if I want to attack anything with this giant. I, I just kind of want to keep harassing his barracks, I mean, and play a bit more conservative. No reason to just throw this guy away. He could be useful, useful later. So, I, mm, so we just move it here. So even if he does cap his barracks back, we can just decap it. It prevents him from buying another ground unit. So really, at this point, if he doesn't go all in to try and kill my trebuchet or something, at least hold on to his barracks, there's no way he can win this game. I mean, I'll just slide him back here. I'm not even going to reinforce him. I just... Right? Alright, well, maybe I'll just slide him back one. Move my air guy forward. I think I'll wait until I have my other giant up here before I move in with both. No reason to risk my commander. I'm going to tuck him far, far away. I don't even care about charging his groove at this point. All right, what do we get? Spear and just slide him a tiny bit forward. And oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm definitely not getting anything since I just ran out of time. Move what? Where is he going with that guy? All of his guys. All right. Well, he didn't want to go to the mountain, so he's escaping, escaping northward. Well, I'm not quite sure how he's gonna get out of this. Okay, reinforce the trebuchet. Sure. Okay, attack the pikemen. You have to take the barracks back, or you just auto lose. All right. Okay, barracks down. Move the f archer forward with no attack. I mean, 500 gold advantage a turn. Right, here's cried. a wild growth. Okay. Put some put some uh, annoying plants in between his army and most of my army gets in the balloon okay hmm. I, I, he just keeps kind of like moving his guys back and forth without, without doing much of anything I don't know if he's just trolling me at this point oh okay I don't, I don't know what that was at the end but thrown in the towel GG opponent